Well everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Elvis. And this is from director Baz Luhrmann, and who also wrote this film focusing on the life and times and career of Elvis Presley through the lens of Colonel Tom Parker. And Parker was a Dutch man who wound up managing Elvis and mismanaging, manipulating, emotionally abusing Elvis throughout his life. And what this biopic kind of takes is the Amadeus approach of storytelling where it's like, yes, this is a larger than life personality. We do get those more emotional moments, but it's all told through the lens and perspective of a rival or somebody who is they're trying to cause issues and might have a different perspective on this person, Salieri in Amadeus. Here, it's Colonel Parker, played by Tom Hanks, who is, you could still tell it's Tom Hanks, but he's doing a really thick Dutch accent or attempting to do a Dutch accent, and then a <laughs> grotesque looking at prosthetics to make him like the fat suit and like the nose and everything but he is disgusting and slimy and just what he's able to do in this film works so well and then you have Austin Butler who is incredible he like I looked at him in the film he was Elvis and he just embodied him so perfectly and he gives an incredible performance and you have some other players here, like Richard Roxburgh, who plays his father, um, Vernon, Olivia de Jong, who plays Priscilla Presley. Uh, it was cool seeing Calvin Harrison Jr. as B.B. King. You have David Wenham as Hank Snow, one of the early musicians that Elvis played with. There's just some really solid um, character actors thrown in here and supporting cast. But overall, this is really, and the deepest this film goes is showing the toxic relationship, the push and pull between Colonel Parker and Elvis. And I think that was one of the most interesting elements of this film. Because in general, from a script perspective, this is very much like Sparknotes version of Elvis's life. You zoom through big chunks of it, like his whole Hollywood career was in a quick, flashy, um huge energy, colorful montage that ends in like a minute. And this is a two hour and 39 minute film that really does zip right through. But what's incredible and the most engaging elements is when they show him perform, Baz Luhrmann's style and energy really pop in those moments and you really feel it. And Butler kills it with the physicality. He felt like he was Elvis up there on the screen. And I love the performance elements. I loved the energy. And, like, yeah, there's Boz Lermanisms. There's parts where it's like Doja Cat comes in and starts to rap and stuff like that. Or some other elements where it's just like bringing very anachronistic music into the, into the soundtrack. And it was really funny because I was in a theater full of like 70 and 80 year olds. And I'm sure they love that. Um, but, like, it's very much tons of style and a script that is a little lean in terms of meat and substance and also there's some uh, storytelling elements in like how the story plays out you could tell Lerman's trying to shake things up and it could just be muddled because it's just unrelenting editing like so fast paced going from one thing to another that it's kind of exhausting after a while but it does show some of the darker kind of drug elements to Elvis's life. It doesn't dig deep into some controversies like the fact that he married Priscilla when she was like 15 and stuff like that or anything like that. It, it picks and chooses where to show some of his shortcomings. And oddly enough, it has like the end of Vice where Dick Cheney like accosts the audience. You get a little bit of that at the end of this film with Colonel Parker and you're just like, oh, okay. It's not as aggressive. Uh, but the idea is like, this is really told from Colonel Parker's perspective to us, the audience. He's talking to us this whole entire film. 
And when it really comes down to it, this is high energy, just adrenaline rush of a biopic. And I had a lot of fun with it. I enjoyed the film. Uh, it could have been a little deeper. It could have been a little more impactful in some ways. But it really sold what a toxic artistic relationship can really look like. And there's a lot of great tension that this film portrayed between Parker and Elvis. And that dynamic really sold this film. And Hanks and Butler's performances carried it all the way through. So in the end, I definitely recommend this. Um, just be prepared. It's Baz Luhrmann. So it's crazy. It's loud. It's going to throw some music that you probably did not expect in an Elvis film. But it's, it's a lot. And... It's very enjoyable, though. But those are my thoughts on Elvis. Let me know what you think. Let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.